AVG just recently released their newest version of their software called AVG 2011. The download is over 120 megabytes. When I originally started recommending AVG quite a few years ago, the download was less than 20 megabytes. With each subsequent upgrade, they've continued to make the product a little bigger and bigger and bigger. I still use it. It still works. However, another product that I have liked quite a bit for Windows XP machines called Avast has made the downloading and installation and the registration, they require a registration, much easier than ever before. So now for Windows XP machines, I'm recommending Avast. If you're using Windows 7 or Windows Vista, stay with the Microsoft Security Essentials. So if you're currently using AVG or any other product and you'd like to upgrade to Avast, make sure you uninstall the previous product before you undertake these directions. You're going to go to my website, helpmerick.com, click on the Avast link in my links section, and that's right here in the security section of all of my links, and it will take you to this web page. Once you're at this web page, you're going to download the free Avast right here, and they'll offer the full version. Again, if you want to pay for it, it's a perfectly good product. That's up to you. But we're going to go ahead with the free version. Then you'll be transported to download.com, which is a very busy site these days. They have lots of advertisements. See, this is ad, ad, another ad. So make sure you click the green button here in the middle that says Avast Free Antivirus. Avoid all the ads on the side. Too many people get swayed by those and they miss what they're looking for. So click it. You're going to get another page with more advertising. Just wait. Your download will commence. I'm using Google Chrome, so my download is down here in the lower left hand corner. And so I'm going to click Save and the download will commence. Once the download finishes, find your download. It'll look like this Set up AV Free. Double click on it to start the installation. Choose your language. Click Next. You can choose whether to anonymously participate in the Avast community. Basically what this means is that any statistics that are gathered by the program will be shared with the community. They don't know who you are. They don't know where it's coming from. It's just statistics. You can choose whether or not to check that or uncheck it. Click Next. Avast will create a system restore point for you just in case something goes really wrong, which normally it does not. If you do not have Google Chrome already installed on your computer, you may be offered, I've already got it installed on mine, so you didn't see the offer on mine, but if you do not have it, you may be offered the opportunity to install it. Again, that's an option. You can choose to undo that if you like. As you can see, the installation is actually very quick with Avast and very few questions, which is another reason why I'm liking it better and better than AVG for Windows XP machines, in addition to the fact that it's much smaller, protects very well, and runs a little bit lighter than AVG. So click Finish, and now you will note that there's an Avast free antivirus icon on your desktop. You can now right-click and delete the installation file or drag it to your recycle bin, whichever method you prefer. Then I need you to double click on the Avast free antivirus and that'll pull up the Avast antivirus control panel. We're, we're going to do a few things in here to customize and make sure that Avast is running the way you want it to. First off, we're going to come here to the silent gaming mode and we're going to turn that on permanently. By enabling the silent gaming mode, you're not going to hear or see many messages from Avast. And Avast is famous for putting up sirens if it finds a virus. It'll tell you when the virus database has been updated. It gives you a lot of good information, but it does startle some people, so we're going to turn it off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here. We're going to register it, because you do need to register this product. They're going to offer for an upgrade again, but we're just going to stay with the free antivirus right here. Click Register. Type in your name and your email address. Choose your state and you don't have to fill anything else out. If you want to, you can, but the name and the email address are the only things required. Click Register for Free License, and then it'll tell you thank you. On some slower computers, this particular message will be behind the Avast, and you won't be able to do anything with it until you click OK. Minimize the Avast screen, you'll see the thank you for registering, click OK, and then you can pull your Avast screen back up. Okay, we're going to come up here to Settings next, and then we're going to go to Updates right here and we want it to automatically update the program as well as the definitions, the, the daily virus definitions. And then we'll click OK. Next we're going to go over here to scan the computer 
and we're going to configure a quick scan. So we're going to go to more details right here, settings, and then we're going to go first to actions and we're going to check this box right here. Automatically apply actions during the scan because we don't want it to bother us. We want it to automatically do some certain things. So if it finds a virus, first thing I want it to do is delete it. If it can't delete it, I want it to try to repair it. If it can't repair it, I want to put it in the chest or what's called, we used to know it as the vault in AVG or quarantine if you're coming from other programs. So now we're going to go over to the pup which is another type of a virus and we're going to tell it to do the same thing. Finds one of those, delete it. If it can't delete it, try to repair it. If it can't repair it, put it in the chest. And then we're going to click suspicious. These are things where it doesn't quite know if it's a virus or not. We're going to tell it first off to try to repair it. If it's not repairable, we'll tell it to move it to the chest. And if it's not, if it can't go to the chest, we'll tell it to delete it. By making these changes in the actions area, that just minimizes the interaction we're going to have with the vast from here forward. Now before we leave the scan settings, we're going to go to scheduling and we're going to schedule this scan daily. You can schedule it whenever you want, but I recommend doing daily so that it happens at least a couple times a week. Check this box to make sure it wakes up from sleep mode if your computer's in sleep mode. Down here under the schedule, we're going to use military time. Now, I recommend setting it for 12 noon if you don't leave your computer on overnight, or you can set it for 3 in the morning or something like that if you do leave your computer overnight. And by setting it to daily, if your computer's not on during one particular time, it'll just pick it up on the next scheduled day. So we'll go ahead and click OK and now we've scheduled and configured our quick scan. If you want to do the same thing with a full system scan, you can do the same thing by clicking more details, clicking the settings, and everything's exactly the same in here. Personally, I don't do the full system scan very often, so I'll just manually do it on occasion. So that's it. That's how you install, update, and configure the Avast free antivirus. We can close it out, and you can look forward to some good, solid protection from a vast.